Today we are reviewing the current most premium offering from Turtle Beach, the Elite Pro 2 with Super Amp. This is a follow-up product to the one released last year at $200. You can watch that review video right up there in the cards. And we actually gave that exact headset away to a lucky subscriber. So make sure you're following us on social media for your chance to win awesome hardware like that. This newest version tacks on an extra $50 to the asking price, but also adds a slew of new features. But of course we need to know, is it worth it? So what is it? Well, it's a premium gaming headset that has a bunch of convenient new options. It's more of an evolution over last year's model, not a really drastic change. It was released last month at a retail price of $249. This model was designed for Xbox, however they make a separate version for PlayStation. As far as I know, they both work for Windows 10 devices, however you have to go into the mobile app settings in order to configure the headset to run on PC. Yes, there is a mobile app for the headset, but I'll get to more on that in just a moment. If these headsets interest you, or possibly some other ones I'm going to mention later on in this review, then please consider purchasing them using my affiliate link in the video description. Last year's Elite Pro featured a black body with orange accents. This one is white with silver accents, and I think the PlayStation 1 is black with silver accents. This is a much more subtle design in my opinion, and it's much easier to match with an existing setup. For example, this white version I think would go really well with the new white Elite controller that was announced, and the recently announced white Xbox One X. A setup like that with all those white devices I think would look really, really cool. The headband design is also brand new. In the previous version, they had this tension adjustment system. They called it the Comfort Tech Fit System, and they said it was a revolutionary tension adjustment system that lets you customize your headset for maximum comfort. Well, they threw that out the window because this thing doesn't have it. It does have this metal band, which is rigid enough to give sufficient support, but flexible enough to accommodate uh, varying head sizes. It's made of a very high quality plastic and metal design. The plastic components especially feel extremely sturdy. This is not something that's going to break easily. However, a glaring error that came over from the previous model is continuing to have the mute functionality on the cable itself and not on the headset. That's something I don't really like. It's always a struggle to find that mute button and find out how to turn it on or off. In my opinion, it's much easier to have it on the headset. And the volume was completely removed from the cable and the headset and put on the super amp. So to control your volume, you use that super amp. So you wanna make sure this thing is close by. But let's talk about some of the new features. Well, the first one superficially is this removable magnetic plate that you can use to give some custom look and feel to your headset. They don't have any options right now, but they do have some coming down the line later on this fall. So keep an eye out for those. It also has a brand new microphone. It is removable. I think all the Turtle Beach headsets uh, in this lineup have removable microphones. So if you like a different style of microphone that they sell, you can easily swap it out. One feature that does carry over is the ProSpec glasses relief system. Another one of those uh, features they like to coin is some creative marketing. But as with the previous version, the same is true with this one. It actually works. And the way it works is you remove the padded ear cups from the speakers on, on either side of the headset. And they're much more easily removed now because they use magnets instead of having to twist it. Once they're removed, there's a little pull tab that you can pull on and it creates a channel in that ear cup. And that channel is where the arm of your glasses is going to go. So you can easily remove and put on your glasses without having to remove the headset. And it also does not create that uncomfortable experience where you have a bulky headset that pushes the arms of your glasses onto the side of your head. It actually works. They also have 50 millimeter nano clear drivers in either ear cup, and they sound uncharacteristically detailed. They're not muffled at all. They sound really good. But the biggest news here is the implementation of this new super amp. It's an amp slash DAC that will sit close to you, you know, either right next alongside you if you're gaming on a couch, or if you're gaming on your console in a setup similar to mine at your desktop, it'll sit right there on your desktop next to you. And it adds a bunch of awesome convenience features 
right into it. Looking at the front, that's where you plug in the headset via the 3.5 millimeter connection here. And I don't think they would want me to mention this, but just as an FYI, you can actually use any 3.5 millimeter connected headset with that and get the full functionality out of it. Just as an aside. Around back, you have an output, which is used to capture your voice as well as your teammate's voice and the in-game audio. So that's really nice. You get high fidelity audio out of that in a single port. You can then plug into an external capture device for streaming. As a side note, there the power connector uses this mini USB interface. I haven't seen one of these on a new device in a long time. I think I donated all of my cables recently that use this protocol because I, I literally have nothing except this now that use this interface. It also features Bluetooth, which in my opinion is the greatest feature about this. You can listen to your favorite gaming playlist. You can also listen to podcasts through the headset speakers with your in-game audio and your friends chatting. It all goes into your headset. It really doesn't matter. You can listen to anything through your phone. It will connect via Bluetooth and play it into your earphones, including take phone calls, which for me, that's an awesome feature. So you don't have to remove the headset and try to take a call and continue gaming. You literally just press this little button on the side and it takes the phone call and plays it in your ears and the microphone is obviously how they listen to you. The whole thing is very seamless and it's one of those things that you don't realize just how convenient it is until you use it for the first time. And that brings us to the Turtle Beach app that I mentioned. So within the first page you can adjust the bias toward the game or chat volumes, mic monitoring, turn on or off the superhuman hearing, toggle the chat boost, and also change your presets to one of the pre-configured ones or create your own if you just wanna create you know, a super bass heavy preset, you can do that as well. On the second page is where you'll find the voice prompts. It plays a little voice in your ear to tell you some information as well as the tones level. There's a dinging noise that it makes when a setting is modified and you can change how loud that is as well as modify the mic noise gate. On the third page, you will find the settings for the super amp itself, including the LED mode, uh, I really like the audio meter one. It basically moves up and down with the volume of your audio, which is pretty cool. You can adjust the LED color and also LED brightness. The stream preset is the in-game audio preset that they will hear if you're streaming. You can also change the stream out game level, which is the volume that your viewers will hear when they're listening to your stream, and also the mic level, which is of course how loud your chat will sound to them. And then finally we have the last page, which tells you some of the user information and gives you that aforementioned toggle to switch between Xbox and PC. There are three main things that I look for in a good gaming headset. In order of importance, it's sound quality, design and comfort, and then microphone quality. So as far as audio quality goes, they sound really good as I previously mentioned. Turtle Beach used to be synonymous with dubstep levels of bass, and that's not really the case anymore. If anything, the bass is a little bit weak. But from a competitive standpoint, you kind of want that. You don't want levels that are going to drown out those subtle noises that you should be listening for. So maybe these aren't the best for listening to dubstep, for example, but they are great for their intended purpose, which is gaming. Despite the massive ear cushions on here, these do a pretty poor job of blocking out exterior noises. So if you're gaming in a consistently loud environment, these may not be the headphones for you. And I've also seen multiple complaints about low volume. Now for me personally, it's plenty loud. However, they don't get as loud as some other headsets that I have reviewed. Interestingly enough, if you remove the headset from the Super Amp and plug it directly into the controller, it's actually louder. I know, that's completely counterintuitive, but that is the case. So I don't know what's going on there, but if you need the headset to be louder, you plug it directly into the controller. The design is very intuitive. It's very well thought out. The build quality is very good. They feel durable. They feel the way a $250 headset should feel. They're also extremely comfortable. And again, as a glasses wearer, the Prospects glasses relief system actually works. I can advocate for that. And the ear cushions themselves are deep enough that I think even Shrek could use these comfortably, including myself. And I have some pretty big ears and I have no problem listening to these without my ears feeling confined whatsoever. And finally, we have the microphone. Now this is not the greatest microphone I've ever used on a headset, but it's still really good. Actually, the greatest microphone I've ever used was on a $30 headset that I reviewed sometime last year. This sounds really good. It's definitely the best Turtle Beach microphone I've ever used. I have no real complaints. The audio quality is just fine. The volume is a little bit low, so I'm speaking at a slightly elevated level. And I had the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth than I would normally, 
But aside from that, it works great. It does a pretty decent job of filtering out background noise when I stop talking. Again, that's that noise gate that can be configured in the app. And overall, it works. And that's really all you need from a gaming headset microphone. But do I recommend them? Well, the Elite Pro 2 with Super Amp is kind of a mixed bag. On one hand, they are a phenomenal pair of headphones that sound amazing in a super comfortable package. There's no shortage of really great headsets out there for less than 250 bucks. Turtle Beach themselves offer a compelling counter argument with the Elite Atlas, a recently released headset that has the same ear cups, same phenomenal 50 millimeter drivers, same microphone, same body, same headband, same removable magnetic covers on the ear cups, Everything, as far as I can tell without actually having them, looks like it's exactly the same. The only thing missing is the super amp, right? Now, the Elite Atlas does not cost $250. It doesn't cost $200. The Elite Atlas, the exact same headset, costs 99 bucks. That's right, $99. Now, you can make an argument one way or another with the Elite Pro 2 and whether or not it's worth $250, but at $99, the Elite Atlas is a phenomenal deal, no matter who you are. So I think you see where I'm going with this. Do I recommend the Elite Pro 2? Well, it depends. I've just given you all the attractive features of the Super Amp. If those are things that sound like you can't live without, go with the Elite Pro. You don't really have an option at that point. If those features don't really do it for you, you don't really see any inherent benefit from them or they're just not worth that extra money, then go with the Elite Atlas. So I really wanna know what you guys think. Which one do you think are you gonna pick up? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out our video description where you can check out links to these headsets. And if these headsets holistically don't do it for you, then watch one of these other videos here where we review headsets from all ends of the spectrum. Um, the pros and cons of all of them and also make sure you subscribe so you know when our newest content is available and subscribing also gets you entered into our future giveaways so make sure you know uh, all the details and entering those by following the links in the video description well thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one